half and set up some chances, but instead they're kicking the ball away rather aimlessly. Bernard Brogan is the most likely one, and each time they try to pick him out, but there's so many players around him. I think they all have done their homework well. Cassidy has lost it. It's Brian Cullen. Free kick to Dublin, taken by James McCarthy. In as far as Matt Bunneman. Now is an opportunity to run out the Donegal defence, but he's 45 metres out and near the sideline. Built strongly, Matt Bunneman beats the block, kicks it in to near the goalkeeper. Out by McHugh once again, out as far as Bradley and takes a return. Slips it to McGlynn. Ryan Bradley again. Michael Hegarty. Swung around by McCauley, and as you mentioned, it is frustration at this stage, and a large measure of it. Cassidy. 14 minutes gone in the second half, three between them. It's looking like a huge task now for the team that went into this game, hot favourites to win it. It's a good shoulder, comes back towards Cavan, who's caught. Referee's blown his whistle. Kavanaugh's down on the ground. Very agitated. Donegal management team and backroom team there. Rory Kavanaugh and uh, Maxi Curran in there. And I think an indication that there was an elbow used. Yeah. Well, in the first instance, we should say Kevin Nolan. The hit on Kevin Nolan was perfect. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, the Rory Kavanaugh one. Definitely the Donegal uh, sideline are unhappy. But Rory Gatter has no reason to be in on the field. He should be back off it. Leave it to the referee and his officials to sort it out. Well, the referee has got some sorting out to do. This is what happened again. Let's see it. This is fine. No problem there. That's fine. And uh, that's just a heavy hit. It's a free right enough. But I don't see a whole lot more than that. Yep. Keanu Sullivan, number two. Uh, yellow card, that is man. That. That's about it. Nothing particularly nasty in that from no. the angle we're looking at. So Keanu O'Sullivan from Kilmacott Croaks, 23 years of age now. Probably going to get a yellow card for his troubles. Yep. And that's correct. That's uh, good refereeing. He let it calm down. But this uh, has been boiling a little bit, Ger. I was talking about uh, Darren McCauley earlier on. There is a lot of frustration around, and the hits are becoming more often and more physical. There are only 20 minutes left in this for one of these teams to meet Kerry in the All-Ireland Final on the 18th of September. Kevin Cassidy ready to kick the free. Drifting away to the right-hand side. Wasted effort. Seven wides for Danny Gall. But they've done their job by and large following the game plan, which has been to pack the middle of the field, make sure that nobody can get through for an easy score. OK, they're prepared to surrender from kickouts. Over 200 hand passes now by Danny Gore. 20 minutes to play. What say you that he will, they will get to 300? That's a drag down. It's got to be a free in. Chance for Dublin to cut the deficit to two points. Bernard Brogan prepared to take it. He's got two of their three points so far. The other one, of course, the free by Cluxton. Well, it's so far been a miserable day for Dublin. But on the scoreboard, nothing really in it. Just a kick of a ball, as it were. Three points, this will make it two. He's got it. First of the second half for him. All of their scores from frees. And Brogan really made this himself. The break came to him, he was quickest to react and uh, pulled to the ground, free in. So he's uh, executing well, that's his third one. And as I said, you're still only two points in it, anybody's he's game. He's going to take a bit more of that, a bit of dash, a bit of determination, a bit of bravery to go in and maybe draw fouls and free kicks. Push on, be positive and go for the game. That's both teams could do a bit of it and they could find themselves in the final. Mark Mahon, fisted away by McGlynn for Danny Gall. Back again to McMahon. Ger Brennan now, driving forward, still driving forward. Support player here, McMenamon. Have to check his stride before getting possession. Delayed him just a fraction. But the space here now with Bastic. Can move it on here quickly. Flynn. Donegal with uh, 
14 players back. And that went off uh, Eamon McGee. 45 metres, the outcome. And Cluxton ready to come up and take it. And if this goes over, there'll be one between them. Well, I thought Paul Flynn was going to have a shot himself, but he was trying to find the inside man. And in the 50-50 ball, Dublin get the break, 45. As they hatch their plans and consider maybe another change they've uh, used to of their possible substitutions. One, they were forced to do so because of an injury. Johnston, one from three, one converted free. The jeering is from the Donegal fans, but uh, he's looking into Hill 16. It's full of Dublin supporters, willing this one to go over the bar. They almost threw it in with their breaths. It's a one-point game, 6-5. Casual, beautiful strike on the wrong side for a Kitog, of course. But look at that, splitting the post chair, absolutely beautiful kick, lots of confidence. We could have plenty of drama now for the remaining minutes of this match. Maybe not the entertainment level we had wished for, but drama plenty. Durkin kicking. Winning possession here, now Vattel. Alan Brogan's after it, after him is Frank McGlynn. Alan Brogan gets to it. This time Rory Cavanagh putting in the challenge. Still Brogan, kicking off his left. Out comes the goalkeeper, he's dropped it, and it's rolled into the net, and the referee has disallowed the goal, and it's got to be a free out, and it's not going to count. Referee was about 30 metres away from the action at the time. Despair for the uh, Dublin fans. This is what happened again here as Paul Durkin was put under pressure there by Kevin McManaman. He dropped it, but the referee gave the free kick to Donny Gall. First of all, he was in the square. Yeah, in the back, it's... Uh, and he was in the back I'm as well. I'm not even so sure it was a, a small rectangle call. I'd say it was the foul on the keeper, sir. I think on balance. Yeah. But a free out at any rate, and he blew it very early. No question of it uh, letting, on to, uh, letting the play go on to end up in the net. Free out. Going to have uh, Owen O'Gara in very shortly. Owen, whose mother comes from Donegal. And that'll be the last thing on his mind right now <laughs> as he tries to uh, put his native Dublin into the All-Ireland final. Now, a key, a key part also, Ger, will be that uh, nobody picks up a red at this vital moment. Now, they need every player that they can each team. Mark McHugh challenged. 6-5. Dublin tried to pin Danny Gall back now and look for openings. O'Gara is yet to come on, by the way. Once again, it is Mark McHugh, 21 last Monday. Michael Hagerty. Back in as far as David Walsh. And the DP's prepared to play. Frank McGlynn. Michael Murphy now. Again, checking, going backwards. Playing the percentage game, making sure they just don't kick it away aimlessly. Into Rory Cavanagh, Donegal hoping to get the next score. Back it comes to David Walsh. Held on to by Colin McFadden. A lot of work to do from here to try and make it possible. So checking his try, there will be one player inside waiting for it. And he gives it away, and Keanu Sullivan's won it for Dublin. And now Philly McMahon can kick it down. Down as far as Alan Brogan, inside his own half of the field still. Kicked on to McMenamin, who's got space near the sideline. Trying to work it in here, trying to take on McHugh, first of all. Then Jim McConnelly blocked there. Comes back to Cassidy. Connolly again, 20 free metres in, out, and that's a free in. Chance to level it. And uh, it needn't be, it needn't have been a free in because of the poor reaction. Oh, that's uh, Dermot Connolly there against Marty Boyle. And you saw the fisticuffs and the pushing and shoving. And the referee to step in and play the role of peacemaker. It'd be a free to Dublin. Well, he could uh, change his mind now, of course, for retaliation and what a loss that would be. But there was no need uh, on that occasion to give away the free. Well, the legs were taken from under Dermot Connolly as he was advancing. That was the block just before all of that. The follow through by Connolly hit the Donegal player, but it was an accident. The linesman is Rory Hickey. Now, he may well be saying to him, you've got to change your decision. 
as uh, Morris Deegan says, hold on a while. Might not be a free kick to Dublin. As you oh, say, Kevin, it could change it. You've got to keep your discipline when these things are on a knife edge. He's got oh, it's a red. Dermot Connolly sent off in the 58th minute. Oh, dear. Oh, this well. is what happened. We saw the <laughs> use of fist, but it really was silly. Yeah, silly stuff. And he's changed the decision. Hot ball. Yeah, the free not awarded. Donegal, 15 Dublin, 14 Dublin trying to press home some advantage, but they lost possession to Danny Gall and it's Anthony Thompson. Will the game change around in those couple of mad seconds? Looked to be very little in it when you think about it. It was silly stuff, ridiculous stuff, really. And Dermot Connolly, the man of the match from the quarterfinal, sent off. And Kevin Cassidy's team still lead by 6 5. He got one of the points. Michael Hagley has come on at half time to play his part in the second half here. Ryan Bradley trying to push forward here. Philly McMahon trying to keep him out on the edges. Played cleverly in as far as David Walsh. Awkward angle, little to aim at. It's put it wide. Uh, he really could have had a. He really could have done something different there. You were about to say. Well, I was going to talk about the sending off and how that changes everything now in terms of the numbers and terms of the formation. And Dublin really now just have to go for it. Dudley Gall have the possession back. Michael Murphy again. Hagerty let it run on. It runs as far as Kevin Nolan. Dublin have got to be daring. And maybe McMenamin from Bernard Brogan's pass. He's got three defenders against him. He still manages to get the left boot to it and force it over the bar to level the game. Kevin McManaman's first point, and the teams are level for the third time in this match. There could be quite a considerable amount of drama yet in the remaining ten minutes. He's done brilliantly well, McMenamin. He's made a huge difference since he came on. Lost his footing, thought the chance was gone. Has a good left foot, came back on it. Sides are level. And that was a straight red card, of course, as well for Dermot Connolly. So if Dublin reached the All-Ireland final, he would not be part of the team. There might be a few meetings before that, I'd say, if they get there. <laughs> Mark McHugh runs on to Murphy. Closed down. Now, who's got the wherewithal, the quality, to try and win this semi-final match? Which has been sadly lacking in quality almost from the beginning at half past three this afternoon. Tactical battle. Dublin ready now to bring on Owen O'Gara. The player he's going to replace is James McCarthy. So Dublin's third sub used up now. 14 men for the remaining 10 minutes. Disappointment for James McCarthy. But it was a change which Pat Gilroy had to make. Ger Brennan. Back towards Philly McMahon. Well, 12 men from Dublin have won an All-Ireland final in the past. Can 14 now win a semi-final against 15 here. It's Michael Dara McCauley giving it out to O'Gara. 